What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about whether Winston-Salem is right for you. Let's get into the video. My name is Romolo Melli and I'm a realtor and team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty. We work here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. And listen, I know that choosing the right place to live or knowing if a place is going to be right for you or not is very, very important and it can be quite stressful, especially if you're not in the area or you don't have experience uh, with this area. But don't worry, I do have tons of experience working with out-of-state people mostly, uh, moving to the Winston-Salem area and trying to figure out if this area is right for them or not. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Day. Before we jump into it though, I do want to ask you a huge favor. If you're getting any kind of value out of this video, uh, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things really keep me motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you. I am going to have some amazing links in the about section of this video, like the Wizard Salem relocation guide, some helpful information in there, as well as lists of like currently available homes in case you're wondering what homes in Wizard Salem go for. And of course, you can always call me or shoot me a text or send me an email. Uh, my number should be on the screen now, but I am also going to leave all of my uh, social media handles in the about section in case you want to be my friends on Facebook or follow each other on Instagram or TikTok. First, let's talk about the reasons why you'll like or love living in Winston-Salem. So I think that you will like Winston-Salem if you enjoy having a small town feeling. Many locals describe Winston-Salem as a small city with big city amenities. And a lot of that has to do with the feeling of like when you're interacting with the locals here, it still feels like a small town. Everyone's still nice and friendly and you get a little bit of that Southern hospitality. But Winston-Salem itself is very diverse and it prides itself in community. Now, one of the things that people think when they're moving here about Winston-Salem is that this, it's this kind of, you know, little boat town in the middle of nowhere and it's not it's actually a, a medium-sized city I would call it so you still get plenty of you know amenities you get plenty of things to do you get plenty of nightlife you get plenty of hobbyists you know whatever you're into you're gonna find people that are into those same things here as well you're also gonna like this town if you like beer Winston Salem has a growing ever-growing expanding uh, craft brewery scene our breweries are very fun and industrial and artsy and one of the things I love about that is if you're just looking for something kind of chill to do there's usually some kind of event going going on. Uh, they usually have food trucks, bingo, you know, karaoke. There's all kinds of things going on always at these breweries and they're all over town. A lot of them are in downtown Winston-Salem, but we have others that are not in downtown. Also, if you enjoy art, I believe you're going to love Winston-Salem because we're actually known as a city of arts and innovation. And we're not just talking about the various forms of paintings or drawings. We're also talking about theater, culinary arts, dance, and even cinema. We actually have quite a few art institutions in the town. Another thing that if you like it, you love living here is gonna be nature. We have an abundance of public parks. One of our most famous or biggest attractions here in the Winston-Salem area is gonna be Tanglewood Park, which is over 1,400 acres. So whether you're into boating, fishing, BMX riding, jo jogging, just walking trails, or having a nice open picnic area to, to relax in, uh, there's gonna be plenty of those kinds of opportunities here in the Winston-Salem area. If you like hiking or being in the mountains, we have Pilot Mountain not 25, 30 minutes away from Winston-Salem. Also, if you like festivals, you're going to love Winston-Salem. It really does seem like we love festivals. We have a vibrant festival scene here in the Winston-Salem area. Anything you can think of from beer festivals to wine festivals. We even have a barbecue festival. It's actually in the next town over Lexington. Uh, they have a, you know, very renowned people come from all over the states to check out the Lexington, Lexington style barbecue. If you enjoy both the city and the country living, then you're definitely going to enjoy Winston-Salem. And honestly, that's one of the biggest reasons why why people love living here because uh, you can afford to be out in the country you know with a few acres but you're only 20 minutes from downtown Winston-Salem we have some amazing hospitals in the area so people uh, move here for those reasons as well so whether you like to live in the city surrounded by all these opportunities and amenities and all the, the crowds and the hustle and bustle and you want to drive out to the country to just you know find a park or be in the mountains or you know be in some more peaceful setting or the opposite you could also live in the country and not be around all the hoopla and all the hustle and bustle and just kind of live quietly. But when you need to go to a bar or a, a theater or an event or a cinema, the city is close enough. Those are reasons why people really love living here. Another reason why people love living here is our proximity to both the beach and the mountains. So if you like to go both to the beach and the mountains or like we, me and my family, we, you know, fall or winter, we're going to the mountains, but spring, summer, we're headed to the beach. 
So white shoes, if you can have both, you know, with Salem, you're gonna be three, three and a half hours from the beach, you know, two, three, maybe four hours, depending on what mountain range you wanna go to uh, from the mountains. We have both the Appalachian Mountains and the Smoky Mountains, the Great Smoky Mountains here. And I feel like our beaches are a little bit underrated. I mean, we do have over 300 miles of coastline in North Carolina, and we're also really close to the South Carolina beaches, the most notable one being Myrtle Beach. But I feel like North Carolina beaches are definitely not for everyone. Um, if you're into the drinking and the party, and going to the clubs and the bars and being you know around all these people doing wild things then Myrtle Beach is the place for you that's you know just across the border in South Carolina however if you like more of a you know quiet pristine serene setting peaceful setting then you're definitely gonna enjoy the the beaches in the North Carolina uh, coastline but in North Carolina you have all these little small cute kind of quaint towns on the beach and uh, they, they are growing quite rapidly but uh, it's really nice to be able to just you know go on the beach and enjoy some time with the family without worrying that someone's gonna be blackout drunk behind you when you're walking down the street. We have some amazing islands off the coast of, of uh, North Carolina as well, like Shackleford Island. We went there a couple years ago and we were able to see like wild horses on an island, something I've never seen before. That was quite extraordinary. If you're a fan of history or architecture, you're also gonna love Winston-Salem. Our history goes back to the 1700s and we're filled with some amazing uh, architecture and history. We have a lot of Native American history as well as a lot of the um, early Moravian settlers history as well here. Also if you enjoy higher education you're definitely gonna like Winston-Salem. Inside of Winston-Salem we actually have four universities and one technical college. We have Winston-Salem State University which is a HBCU. We have Salem College which was actually founded in the 1700s. It's the oldest women's college in America. University of North Carolina School of the Arts is also here. Wake Forest University is probably our most notable uh, university here in the area. And of course Forsyth Tech which is a technical college. Uh, I think most of my high school buddies ended up going to Forsyth Tech. And now we're going to actually get into some things that you may not like about living in Winston-Salem. So you may want to reconsider if these are not for you. Before we get into that though, I do want to remind you that, you know, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things keep me motivated to keep pumping those videos for you. Don't forget about the awesome helpful links in the about section if you're thinking about the moving to the area. There's going to be some um, information in there for you. Of course, all my social media handles, let's be friends on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, even threads now. You may not like living in Winston-Salem if you don't like smaller cities. We are the fifth largest city in North Carolina, but Charlotte and Raleigh definitely blow us out of the water. If you've ever heard of a city in, in North Carolina, you've probably heard of you know Charlotte and Raleigh, not too many people have actually heard of Winston-Salem. And even though we do have a ton of amenities, we're definitely lacking when it comes to you know the nightlife. If you're into the nightlife or the urban life, you know, living downtown, we have it here in Winston-Salem, but it's nowhere near the scale of, like I mentioned before, the Charlotte area or the Raleigh area. We're more food trucks, festivals, and breweries than we are nightclubs. Now there is a airport here in Winston-Salem, not very big. There's also one in Greensboro about 30 minutes away, not very big at all. A lot of connection flights go through there. Uh, but the big you know, airports in North Carolina are gonna be Charlotte and Raleigh. So you know, if we're traveling, which we try to do as much as we can, uh, we're usually traveling out of Charlotte because there's more options and my wife finds cheaper flights through there uh, but we have left you know on vacations through Raleigh as well neither of which are actually too far away Charlotte's actually just an hour hour 20 and Raleigh depending on traffic you know you're talking an hour and a half to two hours you're gonna hate Winston-Salem if you don't like humidity on the positive side North Carolina as a whole and especially Winston-Salem we do experience all four seasons uh, which is something that I'll never get used to I love that that's just amazing you know for me coming from Southern California being basically spring and summer all year round to actually see the fall and feel it and see the winter i definitely enjoy that but as far as the summertime here it does get a little hot but really muggy is, is kind of our drawback here now having said that i was doing some research and we're nowhere near as humid as you know florida puerto rico hawaii there's definitely places that are way more humid than north carolina is but coming from a drier place i definitely didn't expect that it was kind of a shock when i moved to north carolina and i felt the humidity this was kind of funny but i figured i'd throw it in here you may not like Winston-Salem if you don't like Carolina style barbecue. And now one of the reasons this is kind of fresh on my mind is because I've recently helped people from Texas and from uh, Kansas and they were both big barbecue uh, loving people and you know when they come here they did not like the Carolina style barbecue. But there's actually two different styles that fall under the Carolina barbecue umbrella and that's going to be Eastern style and Lexington. Eastern style is described as 
everything but the squeal with the very high vinegar sauce, but they do not use any kind of tomato in their sauces. While traditionally Lexington style barbecue is more of a pork shoulder thing, and they do use vinegar, but they also use a lot of other ingredients, including tomato. So I personally, between the two, I'm definitely going Lexington. Another reason that you might hate living in Winston-Salem or North Carolina more generally is if you don't like driving. And the reason I say that is because unless you live in like downtown Winston-Salem, we're not a very walkable city. Uh, if you live here, you're definitely gonna be owning a car. You're definitely gonna have to travel to places. And there are some exceptions, but generally speaking, if you're going to the grocery store or you're going to pick up the kids or you're going to work, you're talking about a 10, 15, 20 minute drive, which may not seem like a lot, but day to day time kind of adds up. Although we are starting to see a rise in popularity of these communities where uh, you include everything inside uh, the communities. There's one in Kernersville going up right now where they're gonna have you know restaurants, a hospital, school, all kinds of amenities inside of the community. So it's gonna be very walkable, but there's not a ton of options when it comes to that. And one of the last reasons that I could think of of why you may not want to live in Winston-Salem, if you have special dietary needs. Although we are, you know, a growing city and we have a ton of food options, uh, we don't have a ton of, you know, vegan restaurants or, uh, you know, vegetarian restaurants. We, we were getting there. There, You know, you go to the restaurants, you'll see your gluten-free options. You'll see your vegetarian options. You might see some vegan options. There's only one or two uh, establishments that actually cater to those kinds of dietary needs, uh, but there aren't many. So if you have, you know, a very strict diet that you got to stick by, then Winston Salem may not be right for you. You've made it all the way to the end of the video. Do me a favor and let me know if living in Winston Salem is going to be right for you. Why or why not? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about you know liking, commenting, subscribing. It really helps a lot. It means a lot too. Of course, I left the awesome links in the about section of this video. Feel free to call, text, or email if you have any questions whatsoever. And I'll see you in the next video.